to hide. Big slow means business. Go for the sauce! Jungle Boy has done it! I'm never satisfied. I don't want to be great. I want to be a legend. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite at 8 on TNT or anytime on demand and the app. It is the favorite day of the week for so many of us. It is Wednesday night. Time to ignite the dynamite. I'm Alex Abrahantes, and she's Dasha Gonzalez. And oh, Dasha, am I going to celebrate tonight? Listen, I've got my Kool-Aid ready. Nice. We are going to make some orange juice tonight. Okay. Let's talk about it. It's going to be <laughs> phenomenal. But first, let's talk about a friend of the Dark Order who's going to be in action. Hangman Adam Page is going to be taking on Team Taz's Brian Cage. Listen, Alex, how dare you forget? Brian Cage isn't just Brian Cage, a member of Team Taz. Brian Cage is the FTW Oh, yeah. Champion. Oh, I can't. I'm not Justin Roberts. I'm not going to forget that. Of course I know he's the FTW champion. Are you kidding me? And with Team Taz guiding him, listen, I think Brian Cage is significantly underrated. Absolutely. I think the guy has all the tools in the world. Like, this guy does moonsaults. A guy this big who's so agile. It's insane, the stuff they could, But can we say the same thing about Hangman Adam Page? That's true. Hangman Adam Page, once he hits that buckshot lariat, it is donezo for you. So Brian Cage is going to have to do anything and everything in his power to incapacitate <laughs> Hangman Adam Page from being able to, to get his finisher in. That's right. I am pulling for the photo. Friend of Dark Order. Hangman Adam Page has my vote tonight. But let's talk about the late breaking news, Dasha. We have a brand new Impact Wrestling Champion who also happens to be our AEW World Champion, Kenny Omega. We're going to hear from him tonight. And Kenny Omega's best friends, the AEW World Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks, are going to be taking on another team of brothers in Matt and Mike Seidel. Matt and Mike Seidel, Alex, have a lot more on the line here tonight because in order to win a future title opportunity, they have to win. And that's not all. How about six-man tag team competition? The Factory, QT Marshall leading Aaron Solo and Nick Camarado against Dustin Rhodes, Billy Gunn, and Lee Johnson. Wow. Roll your eyes one more time, Alex. You're talking about two legends in the ring and Lee Johnson, an up-and-comer. Come on now. But let's talk about my favorite brothers, yeah. the Lucha Brothers, because one half of the Lucha Brothers, Penta El Cero Miedo, tonight is going to make some orange juice. He's going to wipe the mat of Orange Cassidy. I am so excited. So excited. Listen, Alex, um, I want to take a minute. Um, from the moment you walked out of that entrance last week, the swag and the change in attitude you had, I'm willing to say you instigated this entire situation. What? I saw what you did with that microphone. You are the reason that all of this is happening. No, it's no, no. so unfair. No, 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 no. Hold on. All right. Let me clarify this because I had to clarify it on Twitter for at AEW on TNT. I, I specifically told them, here's what happened. I saw a fly on Trent's head and like a good person, even though I don't like Trent, I said, you know what? I'm going to help him out because it's awkward getting a mosquito bite, especially on your head. Can you imagine how much wow. that would itch? So and I took care of it. Alex, do you know how expensive those microphones are? You could have broken one of them. Okay. Well, what am I supposed to do? Hit it with my hand? You know how gross that is? Absolutely. You could have used your hand. You could have washed your hand. Why did you have to use a microphone? No, you, no, no. you are the reason for all of it's this. It's the only I'm thing saying. I had in my hand. I wasn't going to take off my shoe. That would take too much time. He could, the guy could have been bit by this mosquito, and I did him a favor. But let me ask you, why did Orange Cassidy interrupt me when I came out? I was just doing a favor for Penta, I and I'll take responsibility. I'd completely forgotten that Penta wanted me to relay a message to Chuck Taylor, and I was doing that. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So during the match, I came out, and I was doing that. And then all of a sudden, Orange <laughs> Cassidy, what kind of individual interrupts another individual when they speak? That's what I want to know. You, you're the same type of individual. <laughs> you did it first. What do you mean I did it? No, no. Yes, clearly, absolutely. clearly. No, you were not watching Dark Elevation. <laughs> you were not. You were you were uh, talking with Willie, I'm sure, uh, about some type of gossip, the Spanish announced table that you discovered, and you completely missed Orange Cassidy being rude and completely <laughs> interrupting me. But anyway, tonight we extract our revenge. Penta is focused, and Orange Cassidy is going to have a very, very bad night. And I can't wait. And I will be there. And, uh, if you're lucky, Dasha, maybe I'll pour you a glass. I'll get you a little glass of orange juice when it's all said and done. <laughs> You've already turned your back on me, so I I better be careful because um, 
Mm-mm, I don't trust All right. you. Anymore. By the way, let's talk about somebody else who annoys me. Someone who made the return recently. And she, yes, yeah. she looks better than ever. Chris Statlander, she's going to be taking on Penelope Ford tonight. Listen, all this has been brewing since Arcade Anarchy when Chris Dallaner put that plexiglass, literally hit so Penelope in the face. Uh, um, uncalled for. Li- listen, it's been months and months uh, of Chris Dallaner just being frustrated and angry and, and Penelope Ford having everything handed to her. I want to go to the same way. Her wedding, her wedding was ruined. By these so-called best friends, well, and now Chris Statlander's a part Chris of them. Chris Statlander had nothing to do with that. Oh, she come was on. not even here in AEW, but Chris Statlander, hands down, is one of the best female wrestlers in AEW, and I can't wait to see how action-packed this match is going to be. Both of them are former gymnasts, so I can't wait to see them both in the ring colliding, and Statlander has a little bit more strength than Penelope Ford, so she better watch out. Yeah, but Penelope Ford, in my opinion, is one of the most up-and-coming female competitors that we have here in AEW. And if Statlander thinks that she's going to be able to run over her, I think she's got another thing coming. I think Penelope Ford is going to kick Chris Statlander back to whatever planet that she came from. She's not, mm-hmm. Alex, first and foremost, she's not from a planet. She's from the Andromeda Galaxy. Get your oh, back straight. My mistake. My mistake. All right. I am so excited because not only is Penta going to be victorious tonight, but... Oh, I feel it. We're going to have a brand new TNT champion when Darby Allen faces none other than 10 from the Dark Order. Listen, 10 is an extremely talented individual. He, since he's come back, since his bicep tendon tear, ooh, he has come stronger than ever, more agile than ever, more strength than ever. And if he gets you in that full Nelson, uh, it's donezo. You can't even tap out. Oh, it's all over. Listen, Darby Allen, you do have to tip your hat off to him because he has been going hard. He's been defending the championship every opportunity that he has. But here's the thing. Eventually, that catches up with you. And eventually, you run into a brick wall. And that brick wall's name tonight is 10. And the TNT championship is going to come back to the Dark Order. And then we're going to have a massive celebration. <laughs> we're going to get Crunk off of the Kool-Aid tonight. Crunk, and you, you know what, Tasha? Off of Kool-Aid, Alex. I'm sorry? You can't get crunk off of Kool-Aid. Have you ever had purple Kool-Aid? Have you? You have shared some with me, actually. All right, exactly. So here's what <laughs> we're going to do tonight. We're not only going to celebrate with some Kool-Aid, we're going to mix some orange juice in here, and we're going to create a brand new concoction, and yeah, we're going to celebrate all night long. That's called fruit punch, Alex. No, fruit punch is red. <laughs> Just, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure orange and grape don't, don't come out to red, Dasha. You really need to get your color spectrum in order, okay? But anyway... Either way, it's going to be an awesome night. Cannot wait. We're going to make history. Can't wait for the celebration of the. We're going to have a parlay. Let's talk about yeah. Let's talk about the inner circle parlay. Who do you think is going to get the advantage? Ooh, um, they're going to discuss the rules of engagement. We already know how much of a backstabber MJF is. It seems like the Mm. inner circle is is trying to turn a new leaf. They're trying to do things the right way now. But I mean, we do know that the only way to win this matchup. There are no pinfalls. There is no escaping the cage. There's only submission or surrender. So hopefully we find out, we lay out a ground rules, you know, where both teams could could figure out and can follow, but we know how conniving uh, the pinfall is, so. And you can see it tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TNT. And make sure you stick around for the post show because I'm sure we are going to have a celebration. We will see you there. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. With only one dynamite left before blood and guts, anything can happen. Brian Cage looks to end Hangman Page's winning streak. Plus, the inner circle and pinnacles face-to-face parlay. We are crazier than you, and you know it! AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, tonight at 8 on TNT.